Alright guys, we're back. It's me, that guy over there, here again, and we're going to be working more on our little project here. So as you can see, there's some new stuff here. I moved everything around. The spring is in a different spot. We have this structure right here and these two things. Today we're going to do the almighty scrolling, which everybody always wants to do. So let's get right into it. If you notice, I'm talking a little differently, or trying to, rather. Because I watched my other videos and my voice sounds horrible, especially online. So I'm going to be talking a little quieter, softer maybe. Who knows, by the end of this video I'll probably be talking the exact same way as I was talking before like this. But, you know, we'll see. So, uh, what are these things? These things, this one is camera origin. And this thing is the actual camera. So, well, okay. We're going to do easy scrolling first, because the way I was going to do it is a little complicated. So, let's make a new group of events called Scrawl. Yeah. Scrawling. And I'm just going to, whoops, just going to leave it like that. Alright, so here's the easy way to do scrolling. Always, whoops, wait a second. First of all, you got to make your level bigger. So, let's go in here. Don't go into the this thing, because that'll change the actual screen size of your game. What you want to do is change just this level's area. So what we're going to do is change this to... What's 2? Alright. 2 times 480 is that. And... 640. Alright. And what you'll notice is that we still have this lined box here. That's the camera. That's the actual a window that you're going to be viewing in the game, but the area is actually much bigger than that. So we're going to move all this down so that this is the lower left corner now. And what we're going to do now is say always go to this uh, horse, whatever this thing is, and say scrolling center position in frame to center of your collider block. And that's all you need to do for easy scrolling because now it works. But you'll notice that it's kind of jerky. Like, when you jump, there's no smooth smoothness to it. Oh yeah, I added a new double jump animation. I don't know if anyone actually wants to know how to do that, but I'm not going to do that in this episode, so, you know, we have a nice hovering spring right there now. There's that clothes thing again. Still don't know why that's coming up. Uh, that's the easy way. I'm going to do it the hard way. So what I'm going to do now, alright, if you want to just do scrolling the easy way, that took us like two minutes to do, three minutes rather. But the hard way is going to take us the rest of the time, because it's really more difficult, but it looks way, way, way better. And you can customize it. So let's change this always event to put that at the actual camera. And we're going to make another always event and say always put this thing's position at the position of your collider block. So it's going to look all goofy for a second here. Well, first of all, it's not even following my character right now. Uh, okay. Yeah, he fell out of the screen and this thing inactivates if it's too far away from the frame, which I don't want it to do. In fact, I'm going to make all of these no for that. I hate that. So now, yeah, now he'll react. And you see that that thing is uh, following me. And that's going to be what this object right here is going to follow. So let's make it so that thing follows. And this is the hard part, okay? Always. And I'm going to do the X and Y coordinates separately because you have to. So let's, gonna, let's put this uh, equation in. This is really tough, so you pay extra attention set X coordinate to its X coordinate, the actual camera, the thing that's going to be following the camera origin, so the blue thing up here. I'm going to set it to its own X plus, I really hope I do this right, make a parenthesis, or, yeah, parenthesis, plus this thing's position minus the actual camera's position, X coordinate, and then times, not plus, times 0 0.09, and I really hope that works. Might not, though. 
Oh, it does work. Now you'll see here, if I can get up into the screen, that the thing follows me very sort of lazily. See, it's already working. And it looks much, much, much smoother than before. So that's what it's going to look like. And of course, these things will be invisible. Uh, and then we just have to do the Y coordinate. So set Y position to actual camera's own Y plus camera origin's Y. Make sure you put a parenthesis in front of this. Minus actual camera's position times 0 0.09. Now, depending on how big this number is at the end here, that's how fast or precise the scrolling will be. So I'm going to leave it like that, and we'll just see how this works. Ah, see, there we go. There's the right ticket. Now look at how much better it looks. Yeah, it's a lot smoother, right? Um, okay. So let me just experiment with Experiment with these. The higher this number is, the more precise the scrolling will be. The lower it is, the more loose the scrolling will be. So if I put 0 0.02 in there, it's going to be really slow. Like, see, I can be all the way over here and it'll just barely follow me. So, don't want to do that. Oh, okay. And you see how, when I'm right here, it comes right to my exact X position, right? If I go over here, it stops way over there. There's an extra thing you can do to keep it from doing that, but it requires a lot of extra work. Not sure if you want to do that right now. Oh, what the heck, let's just do it. I have, I have time. Right? Yeah. So, uh, alright, so this is going to be a lot more work. We're going to replace always with if x position of this is uh, greater than x position of the camera origin. So basically, if this thing is farther over to the right than the camera origin, or if you're moving left, basically, it's going to, well, okay. We have to make two of these each, and then we got to make one for the y, too. So if y position of this is greater than this position, that thing's y position, then we're going to make another and change it to lower again. Alright, so when it's over to the right, I'm just going to copy each of these into all four and then edit them, okay? So, when it's farther over to the right, this is good, because it's going to do it just right. When it's to the left, okay, we can delete the y thing from these two. Okay, so this is okay. This is going to work. The one where it's, whoops, one where it's lower, we're going to add 1 to this, not point 0.1. That would not work. Plus 1. Let's see if this works. Alright, come on, thing. Hmm, still not quite working how I want it to. That's a problem. Maybe I'm adding one in the wrong spot. Let's add my extra parentheses. I hope this doesn't take two years to do to figure out. Oh, you know what? I left it at point two, which I don't want to do. Point zero nine is probably the best number. This might uh, make it a little better. So it's exact, it's exact. That's all I really care about, really. There's just a little bit of looseness, and that's what I want. Okay. Oh, you know what? It's because I left the X thing in these ones, that's why it's acting all goofy. Haha. <laughs> oh, and I'm almost out of time. Okay, let's, let's do this real quick. So, greater is going to be when the Y is coming up and lower is going to be when the thing on the camera is coming down. So when it's above you, or when it's less, I want to add 1 and change this to 9 and add parentheses just to make it a little cleaner. This one just changed to 9, add parentheses, and we're good. So it should work perfectly now. Ah, see. 
there's what I'm looking for and that is scrolling uh, you don't have to do it this complicated you could start out with the easy way if you wanted and you know the final touch really is just making these things invisible I'm gonna make it so they never get deactivated but let's make it so visible at start unchecked vis uncheck visible at start and here we go this is the smooth scrolling alright Wow, my voice is kind of cracked right there. Uh, wow, and something just fell right into my eye. Looks like this is a good place to end the video then. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you're having fun with your new scrolling abilities, and I will see you next time. Until then, keep on working. If you have any questions, ask me. And I'll see you then. Have a nice day.